Hey divas, this is Anna coming to you with a quick project. Um, I told you guys in my last video that I was going to start working on my older projects that I partially did and start getting those bad boys out. One of the old ones was um, a challenge that Bona had put out, Live Love Scrap on YouTube, and um, and it was through a Facebook. She created um, like a page for everybody that participated in this. And I partially did it, so now I'm back on the boat trying to finish this project. And um, I just wanted to show you ladies. I'm going to briefly go through all the pages in the beginning for those of you that haven't seen and um, just a refresher for um, the girls that have and then show you the new pages I added on. Now the whole process, the whole object to this was Bona created um, a challenge of having a comp book and altering all the pages, making it kind of like a scrapbook. So, but using all scrap pieces, everything that's in here is a scrap piece of lace or a scrap piece of paper or nothing fresh, nothing brand new out of anything. So, um, you're going to see paper lines in here that I've mixed and matched. I could not even tell you. I just use scraps and that's all I did. So, um, just keep in mind, this is meant for scrap stuff, old stuff that you've not used in a bajillion years, old things that you punched and decided not to use it on a project, whatever it is, okay? But keep in mind, too, we cannot, it's very, um, the embellishing has to be kept at a minimal, and I still have six pages to go, and that's front and back, okay? So it's already thick like that. I have not done the cover because this is the last thing I'm going to do once everything else is done. So, um, and forgive my nails, ladies, they look awful right now because I'm crafting and I always get hot glue on my nails and when I have polish it rips the nail off or the polish off so ew <laughs> but um so let me get started okay so here is the first page okay you know so it's just pieces of stuff okay these are old silk flowers that I like never really use anymore and also, too, what I did is every five pages, I stapled them, okay? Because if you were to do every single page, this could not possibly get done. And plus to make the pages more sturdier. So you'll notice that you'll see um, some staples. And I purposely have it like that. This is not meant to be um, perfection. This is meant to show imperfections. And it's all good, okay? So just in case some of you are thoroughly looking for boo-boos, you're going to find them. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> so these are, once again, just old scrap pieces of stuff that I had punched, that I didn't use, or things that I did have um, that was just strips and I actually punched them. See, so like this right here, it's just a little piece um, that I had, that I incorporated into the page. And then this flower right here, I just folded it in half. And then I put this one. These are the old school ones that are like velvety. Got that from like my uh, local scrapbook store. Here's the next page. Some of you guys are going to recognize these pages. <clears throat> okay, so see, like this was like my last little bit of this, and I used it. I really had, I'm totally having a blast doing this because this is like no brainer stuff, you know? Stuff that you just put together, and who cares if it matches, doesn't matches, if it's positioned right or not. This right here was, this right here was, this whole piece right here was off of something, it was off of a rack that I was given, and I saved it, and I put it inside my book. Okay, this is what's underneath the lace. Because I do that, I'll keep it, if I get a rack, or if I, um, I do a swap, and um, one of the ladies decorates it pretty, and they put like a nice little center, I'll rip it off, and I'm going to recycle that. That's the whole beauty, right? We don't make it beautiful just to get tossed away. Okay. Some old stuff, some old pieces, scrap pieces. Love it. So, of course, you know, my picture would go here. My little sentiment would go there. And when I'm done, I promised that I would put pictures in this so everybody could see how I laid it out. This right here was a gift also. I added that in there. It was a tag super beautiful totally had to be used again okay next page so getting kind of heavy <laughs> okay 
and another flower that was made for me that I put there. I don't know if I made it for myself or someone made it for me. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> She's a little greeting, um, greeting farm stamped image that I paper pieced many moons ago, never used. So she's in here. This was also on a swap that somebody put on a packaging. I used it again. Okay. See how we punch out stuff and it's just the outside while well, I reused it. Because it was supposed to use all scraps, girls. That's the beauty of it. So I have space for um, images and when I decide to put journaling, I'll pop them on there. This is starting of the new pages now. Those were all the old ones, and these are all the new ones that I just did. Okay, let me see if I can open this. Okay, this right here, um, Violet48 Scrapin' on YouTube. Hi, Violet. I haven't seen you forever. I so miss you. Um, she had gifted me some of these doilies. Oh, my gosh. This doily is just this amazing and she wrote a sentiment on here and it was on the outside of my packaging you think I was gonna throw this away heck no I just put out my larger circle punch and put that in the middle so I could put a picture over that or um, yeah put a picture over that but I wasn't gonna toss this out I'd love it and then this is just one of my old little metal pieces you get from Michaels and then I put this on here because I had put the spell binders um, I had punched this out of my spell binders um, and never used it so I was like, well, let me just use it here. Another piece of lace that I had. This right here is like three different paper lines. Couldn't even tell you. Okay. And here's the second page. Old stuff. These are some flowers. I cut them in half and I put half here and the other half of the flowers up top. I purchased those. Um, those aren't from a punch or a die or anything like that. Those I purchased from um, the mall. It was a package of a bunch of flowers. You're supposed to make a garland with them, but mm, I wasn't feeling it. So I used it on my project. And a little doily. So it's plenty of opportunity to put pictures however I want to. So it'll be cool when I add the pictures. Here's the another, another page. See, I double layered the flowers. I cut them in half. Then I got um, one of these old recollections flowers folded in half and just put a bling on it. This right here was gifted to me by Silly Shy Sushi. Hi, Chica. She gifted this to me. Oh my gosh, I'm going to say maybe two years ago when she first started on YouTube. She was creating these owls are because she's an owl lover. And she was creating these and they're just amazing, super ador adorable. I totally had a messenger and ask her. <laughs> I was like, send them to me. I will pay you for them because <laughs> they were so adorable, right? So she put it on this tag and I kept it all this time and I put it in here because I'm like, I love it. I heard it. And then this right here, this beading, she had it wrapped around the whole tag, but I couldn't lay this flat if I had this trim on the other side. So I cut it off right here and I just used the other part of the trim up here. I wasn't going to waste anything. So... And this right here is another thing where I, you can see I used my Nestabilities die. And um, that's just the outside lining. So I could easily do, when I do my image, I could easily run it through my Nestabilities, the same cut, and then just lay it on top and lift it up on pop dots. So we'll see what I create. Okay. And then this is my last page. Whoops. Sorry, ladies. Okay. See right there, that little tag for all you ladies that know, that's Jules' little, that's her signature on any time you purchase from her. And, um, yeah, anytime you purchase from her, or if she gifts you or whatever, she always puts her little tag in there. I love it. So I put that inside my, my, uh, scrapbook. And, um, this trim right here was part of this. It was what was hanging off of it. And I didn't want to even throw that away because she tea dyes the muslin. So I saved that, just tied it into a bow and added it on to my my uh, page and then this was a piece of um, doily that I had left over and I just tucked it back there and a butterfly I had made a bajillion moons ago that I double layered on a project and I had an extra so I put it there and then this is a, just another the outside also I got some hot glue gun there bummed out but oh well 
once I start actually putting pages, that's when everything will really come complete. Because you never know, I might add another lace trim or something. But see how I staple them. One in the middle, the top, at the end. And I do, uh, these are the pages that I have left. I don't know. I'm going to do three more back and front. I'm going to see how fluffy it gets. I might just cut off all of these three. I might do that if it gets too much. Because if the book, I mean, you see how thick it already is. And I still have to create some type of binding system for it to stay closed. It'll probably be some type of ribbon that I adhered here, right here, and then put my paper over it. Because that's probably going to be the safest bet to do on something that's this juicy so that it can stay semi-open. Okay, ladies, so I just wanted to show you that I've been working on it. So that was what? How many pages did I do? One, two, three, four. I did four pages. So just wanted to show you, ladies, that I am keeping to my word. And I still have my tags to do and my canvas. So I will be working on those and showing you, ladies, soon. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a super awesome day. All right, girls, bye.